daytime. The streets of Goma are full of people going about their daily business, wary of the threat posed by the M23 rebels barely 10 kilometers away. The only thing that stands between the rebels and the residents of this city is the army, battling to regain control of lost territory backed by UN peacekeepers. As nightfall checks in, the first thing you notice is that the streets clear fairly quickly, partly because of the fear factor. But that does not necessarily mean that everyone's going home. If you want to find someone, your best bet is the club. One of the more popular ones with both expatriates and locals is La Bodega, and with good reason. This is the other side of Goma you don't get to see often. The Itidaba has been performing renditions of both hit African and Western music for the past year at the club. She readily admits the threat posed by the insecurity has had a big effect on the nightlife in the city. We used to be so packed that getting sit-in space was a problem, but look around now. There are empty seats. People are still scared of going out. However, the security issue has also made some take a stand. People are tired of this situation, but it has not stopped them from coming out to enjoy the night. We live under pressure, but people still want to go out. Like Mwaka Kapombe and her girlfriends, who refuse to be cowed by the security threat. Some people are scared of going out. For us, our resolve is steadfast. We need to show them they're nothing. As other performers belt out renditions of past hits, it is clear the crowd are enjoying themselves. Music will go on. The Congolese will never be tired of it. We love having fun. For the moment at least, all the problems that plague the city are forgotten. But despite the tough talk, everyone is aware the fighting has greatly affected the nightlife and several clubs and pubs have shut down. For now though, most of these people will be back next weekend. For many, it's the only time they get to let their guard down. Robert McGinnis, CCTV, Goma.